As you guys know, we're making videos of the coolest and most interesting elements on the periodic table. We've introduced some different metals and some of them were dangerous, like mercury or lead. In today's video, we're gonna look at the most dangerous metal in the world. The U, and it's named uranium on the periodic table. We first have to know that uranium is not a rare metal. And we have to know that it's 40 times more common than silver. Uranium was founded in the 18th century by Martin Heinrich Klaproth. Around the same time, a new planet had been discovered in the solar system, and it was named Uranus. The person that discovered uranium said we're gonna name this uranium, so it's very similar to the Uranus name, because they were discovered around the same time. Uranium is found in Earth's crust, but it's not in pure form. Back in the day, glass workers would apply uranium to glass to give it a cool green color. But they didn't know, by doing this, they're making that piece of glass extremely toxic. When you take uranium and turn it into a solid metal, it looks like any ordinary metal, a silver piece. But what is uranium good for? Back in the day, they would put it in glass, but make it very toxic. What else can we use it for? The most used uranium gets is in nuclear power plants and atomic bombs. But most of it is used by nuclear power plants. Because they make nuclear weapons that has uranium and it doesn't need to be swapped out. But nuclear power plants work day and night, and their fuel is uranium. When we say nuclear power plants, we're not talking about these ordinary ones that you know of. We have submarines and ships that work with nuclear power, and in these vessels, they're powered by nuclear power plants, just like the ones you see on ground. And whenever it gets filled up, it works for more than 30 years. And you don't have to keep filling it up with diesel, gas, or gasoline. The power that moves these things is the nuclear power plant. And the power plant gives the power for moving and the electricity or whatever power they need. So we can take the uranium-238 from the ground and put it in the nuclear power plant or a submarine and keep moving? Unfortunately not, you're not going to get much energy like that. Just like we said, uranium-238 is found everywhere. Uranium-238 has no use either, and it's a toxic metal, so you have to be careful. But if we want to use uranium as a fuel, we have to enrich it. You basically have to enrich uranium-238 and turn it into uranium-235. We said uranium is toxic, radioactive, and enriching it is very hard. So why do we want to use it as a fuel? Because scientists believe that this fuel is 8,000 times cleaner than oil. And when you put the fuel in a nuclear reactor, it works for years. One tip of a finger uranium gives you the same energy with 564 liters of oil. So it seems easy. You take uranium-238, minus 3, and now you have uranium-235. But it's not that easy. When you take uranium from Earth's crust, it's not even in metal form. It's an ore. They first take it into the factory, Break it down and roast it. Roasting it makes you take out the carbon from the uranium. The powder you get is dipped into water and sulfuric acid. 
This turns the uranium ore to uranium oxide. After this, they give it ammonia and it turns into yellow cake. When we get to the yellow cake, we're just beginning because this is the uranium-238 we needed and it's not very radioactive. But we want to turn this into uranium-235 so we can use it as fuel. Now we need to enrich it, something that the centrifuge does. But before the yellow cake enters the centrifuge, it has to be turned into a gas. To turn yellow cake into gas, you have to give it fluorine. And when you add fluorine to it, it's ready to enter the centrifuge. The centrifuge spins it very fast and it removes some isotopes from uranium-238 and it turns it into 235. The longer this goes on, the higher the nuclear enrichment is reached. When the uranium is enriched to 20%, it is ready to be used in a nuclear power plant. But if you want to make nuclear weapons, that number has to go way higher, and you need 90% uranium-235. But let's just say we reach 90%. How can we use it? The uranium is still in gas form, and we have to turn it back into a solid piece of metal. To do this, we have to add calcium. Calcium turns the gas into uranium oxide. After that, the uranium oxide is roasted at 1400 degrees Celsius. They pour the liquid metal into molds, and these pellets are made. Then they insert these into fuel rods, and they enter the nuclear reactor. If you've seen our video about how nuclear power plants work on Polstek, you know what happens after this stage. Now we realize that producing uranium fuel is not an easy job, and it's very dangerous. But if everything is done correctly, it's one of the cleanest energies. If you know the story about Chernobyl, the thing that caused the accident is poor maintenance in the power plant, not because of the dangers of uranium. If a nuclear power plant is located somewhere safe that's away from natural disaster, unlike Fukushima, a tsunami doesn't attack it, it's a very good source of energy. But if it's somewhere very dangerous and it has poor management, it's the most dangerous place on earth.